Hi, I'm Dory. Well, I probably should tell you, I suffer from short-term memory loss. Unless I already told you that. Hmm. Wow, I am so glad you're here, because if I got a story for you... Wait, do I have a story for you? Y yes, yes I do! It's a story about me, and my friends, oh, and my family! Are you ready? Woohoo, let's go! Wait, I forget, what's that big thing with the wiggly parts? Right! Oh, and what's the floppy doodad that kind of looks like it's got an attitude? Yeah! Keep an eye out for both of those, okay? Now, hmm, where was I? Oh, right! It all started one morning when I was on my way to meet Mr. Ray in his class. Then, I almost bumped right into a huge rattlesnake. Phew, that was a close one. I knew I was almost there when I saw Nemo playing with somebody new. A friendly soccer ball. <laughs> Mr. Ray, just in time for class. Good thing I was around, because Mr. Ray needed help. All his students had disappeared. What? When did this happen? Oh, hi, Marlin. This is Marlin. He's my friend. And he looks like... Well, I mean, you can see him right here. Dory, when did the whole class disappear? Well, well listen, I'm telling you. A a and you... Wait, I forget. What's that cuddly thing? You know, the one with all the pokey bits? Of course! Duh. Also, what do you call that noisy thingamajobber? I'm thinking it's a little squishy. Wow, good thing you're here. Both of those will be important in a moment. Anyway, since I was the teacher's assistant that day, I told Mr. Ray I'd find all six of his missing students. Oh, Dory, come on now. Yes, that's exactly what I said. Come on now, let's find those kids. Oh. Hi, you. with a bouncy jackal I gotcha <laughs> Hey there Ow. Oh watch where you're going
Saved him from a dangerous exploding Dory! Arm. Dory, 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 that did not happen. I would have heard about it. What's important is that I was a great teacher's assistant, right? Right, but you said. Right. So that day was the day of the great Stingray migration. Mr. Ray took the whole class to the edge of the reef to see it. Field trip! Wait, I forget. What's the thing with the lumps? It makes that noise, you know. That's the one! And while we're at it, what do you call the thingamajig? You know, it's round, it kind of tickles. <laughs> Great! Those will come up soon. Okay, here we go. I love field trips, but I knew I had to keep up with Mr. Ray or I'd forget where I was going. Oh! Migration, migration, let's learn about migration. It's nature's inspiration to move around the sea. Woo -ha -ha! I had to stop for a moment when I heard the beat of this hypnotic air horn. <laughs> Dory, that is not how it happened. Well, why don't you try again? Yep, I sure ran into that. to the edge of the reef and wow the stingray migration was incredible until he got hit by a speeding cinnamon bun <sighs> are you sure it wasn't a stingray that hit you nope but whatever happened it actually turned out to be a good thing what in what way was that possibly a good thing because it helped me remember my family Something. My family was at the uh the the gem of the Baltic. No, no, no. The stone of the From Jewel of Morro Bay, California. Yes. Then then Crush took Marlin, Nemo, and me on a really fast current. Wee! All the way there. Uh, quick question. What's that thing? It's bright and shiny, and you always wish there was about a hundred of them. That's the one. And while we're at it, there's a dealy bob, and it makes this noise that, whoa, it's always way louder than you'd expect. How could I forget? Just make sure you don't forget about him, okay? Anyway. I remembered this place from when I was a kid. Someone here had to know my parents. I figured if I could find six crabs, at least one of them would know where my family was. That's one. I gotcha. Hey. I 
I gotcha. He's a really good hider, but I found him under this cute little lollipop. Boy, was he hard to find. Probably because he made a home out of a really fashionable ambulance. The next thing I knew, we woke up... Hmm. I want to say it was someone named Gary. It was a giant squid. Oh, yes, a giant squid named Gary. No, no Gary. There was no time for naming. Oh, right, because Gary was chasing us. I not remember much, but I definitely remember we had to get away from Gary. Uh, quick question. What do you call that fuzzy thing that makes your eyes go all googly? Really? Okay. One more thing. What's that thing of a bob? It's totally adorable, but kind of itchy. Yeah! Keep an eye out for both of those, okay? Now, hmm, where was I? Oh, right. As quickly as we could, we split up and swam. Currents move fast, so we try to use those. Whoa! to get me. I zipped by a passing teddy bear. Then another, and another, a whole herd of them. Thankfully, they stopped Gary right in his tracks. A whole herd of them? Dory, no, that's ridiculous. See, there were these shipping containers. A whole herd of shipping containers? Now who's being ridiculous? Oh. Boy, was I happy that squid was gone, but Nemo was really scared after the chase, and I just felt, well, I wanted to find help. Hmm, one sec. Maybe you know this. What's that shiny thing? You never expected to be there, and then, whoa! <laughs> there it is! Right! Oh, and what's the whirly whiz that spins around and gets you all confused? 
Great! Those will come up soon. Okay, here we go. I decided to look for help in the kelp forest, but I had to find my way through. of them. Man, that was tricky. Get it. Um, hmm. You know this story. The jewel of? The jewel of Morro Bay, California. We were there. So, okay, the downside was I got caught by people from the Marine Life Institute. They put me in quarantine. But hey, big upside, I was closer to finding my parents. Wait, uh, quick question. What's that thing? It's never the first thing you think of. It's, you know, the other thing. Really? Okay. One more thing. I'm thinking of a... Well, it's kind of heavy, but, you know, still floaty. Wow. Good thing you're here. Both of those will be important in a moment. Now, I just had to get out of quarantine. And since I was stuck in a tank, I had to look above water for help. <laughs> of fish dance into a catchy disco ball. You know what that means? Dance break! Ran 
Then, I got one final boost from a super helpful trophy. There you are! Name's Hank. And that's how I met Hank. He's a septopus. Uh, Dory, that's not exactly how you told it to me before. Really? Well, close enough. Hank's great. He helped me get around the Institute. But we took a wrong turn and got thrown into a kitty touch pool. Oh, uh, hang on. What's the thing with the lumps? It makes that noise, you know. Really? Okay. One more thing. What's that cuddly thing? You know, the one with all the pokey bits. How could I forget? Just make sure you don't forget about them, okay? Anyway. I was definitely not a fan of getting poked, but for Hank, the kiddie pool was a nightmare. I had to get us both out of there. Dory, what are you doing? tried to hide behind a safe-looking UFO, but that didn't turn out so well. so busy dodging hands that we didn't notice the falling cowbell. Oops! Ah, Sorry. But it all worked out. Hank's ink made the kids run away and we escaped. After the ink incident, we found out all the blue tanks, including my parents, were in quarantine. What about the open ocean exhibit, Dory? You left that out. Oh, okay. Well, uh, the open ocean exhibit is a very nice place to visit. Highly recommended. <sighs> Wait, I forget. What's that thing? It's bright and shiny, and you always wish there was about a hundred of them. Really? Okay. One more thing. What's the floppy doodad that kind of looks like it's got an attitude? Yeah! Keep an eye out for both of those, okay? Now, hmm, where was I? Oh, right! The only way to quarantine was through this maze of pipes, and I'm, well, I'm not great at mazes. But my friends Destiny and Bailey helped me find the way! If I got lost in the pipes, I could yell to Bailey and he'd help me!
suddenly. Well, let's just say I hope you never get bonked on the head by a smelly banana peel. Because that happened to me about 20 times. But then I remembered my mom telling me to just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Boy, did that help. Still, though, gross. <laughs> I got a little carried away there. I thought I was going in circles because I I'm pretty sure I already passed that. Tuba. But then I saw Marlin and Nemo. Dory! You're okay! Let me tell you, quarantine was one busy place, and the tank of blue tangs was way at the end. Hmm, one sec. Maybe you know this. I'm thinking of a, well, it's kind of heavy, but you know, still floaty. Really? Okay, one more thing. What do you call that noisy thingamajobber? I'm thinking it's a little squishy. How could I forget? Just make sure you don't forget about him, okay? Anyway. I had to get to the end and find my parents. Sure ran into that. In this one tank, I got an extra bounce from a springy cactus. <laughs> one, but a whole school of them. Dory, you, Dory, you just said the tank was full of blue tangs. Well, sure, them too. The point is, my parents had to be there somewhere. Except, it turns out my parents weren't in the tank. They were, well, they were gone. It's, oh, oh, it's, it's okay, Dory. Now remember, we were there. Until Nemo and I got put on a truck going to Cleveland. Right, Cleveland. And I, ooh, ah, I went down a drain! Hmm, one sec. 
Maybe you know this. There's a dilly bob, and it makes this noise that, whoa, it's always way louder than you'd expect. Really? Okay, one more thing. What's that thing? It's never the first thing you think of. It's, you know, the other thing. Great, those will come up soon. Okay, here we go. I was flying through the pipe straight out to the ocean. I accidentally busted up a party hosted by a nice cheeseburger. Happens all the time. Dory, there is just no way you found a party in those pipes. Well, I didn't bite it on purpose, that's for sure. And then, the pipes spit me onto the ocean. 